no screamo. And um, in the moment here, you guys will see what we're playing if you did not already see this from the title, the category, or whatever the case may be. But anyway, I got our settings set up. I'm going to turn the music down a tiny bit, I think, on my end. Let's see how it looks for you guys. It might be a little loud. It's going to turn down a little bit. Yeah, it should be good. Alright, so let's see what's up. I've heard barely nothing about this game except that's pretty cool and that it's a visual novel. And I want to do my part and support the idea of a sonic visual novel existing because it just sounds like something the world needs more of. So that, that'll do for a little opening monologue. And um, since the text is going to be right there, I'm going to move over here. Wee! I'm moving around! <laughs> Okay, yeah, but let's, let's see what's up. Whew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Hello, my name is what? My name is who? My name is Wick, Wick is Slim Shady. If they didn't want me to name myself Slim Shady, they shouldn't have done the thing like that. But yeah, since we can do this, shout out to my um, YouTube channel with all the gaming videos. Stormativo. Stormativo, did I spell it right? No. No, bro, you gotta capitalize the S if you're gonna do Stormativo. You gotta capitalize the S, my man. I thought they were like all caps at first, I just didn't bother doing that myself. Stormativo, did I spell that right? Yes. Oh wait, this is me? Is this guy me? Hope oh, passengers can read my scribble. Okay, so I am, I'm now an animal humanoid. One of the things I most dislike in this world. But we're playing a Sonic visual novel, so I kind of should have seen that one coming. Uh oh, am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Where are the hyphens here? Oh, I'm already triggered. Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Stermativo, shake it off. Stermativo, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? Conductor. Uh, Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Ho ho ho, quite alright myself. Though feeling a little bittersweet. Um, no. <laughs> Is everything alright? Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years on the job, like a freaking boss, son. Time for me and, time for me and the old lady to say goodbye. <laughs> I, I, I thought I was going to say that for some reason. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Uh, make sure all the stuff on the screen is working. Yeah, I think that's all appropriate. Uh, I'm still kind of covering the text box though. Maybe I'll chill right here, I guess. Um, okay, wait, what did you just say? Can we, can we go back? Okay, I have no idea. Our shower is written on the fritz. I'm excited to use the hotels. Fa ha ha ha. You can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working in a dining car. Here's the menu for today. All right. I can open inventory anytime. Should look over the menu carefully. Chili dog, ramen, chicken, cordon blue. Raj Express dining menu. It features... Okay. So what, what's the point of this if we can do this? Dang it. Am I, gonna, am I just turned into a hater? Am I just doomed to be so critical of every video game I play. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. Easy, brah. Ha 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 Well, I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? This one. 
Ding ding ding. Glad you can read the menu okay. Fa ha ha ha. A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. I want to try to get more into character by copying the character. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and the old lady. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. The train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? Murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? I'll make you proud, sir. You'll be glad to leave your baby in my hands. Fa ha 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 ha! Glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to Mirage Express are opening all aboard. It's pretty cool looking. Okay. Whoa, familiar looking people. Amy Rose, Knuckles, Sonic. Wait, Sonic? Amy Rose, Tails. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. I can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down there, Bruce. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? Ugh, I'm Knuckles and I always have to cross my arms. <laughs> if there was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Stormativa. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? It's Sonic. Thought you were dead, bro. Ah, uh, of course, sir. Arg, are you a pirate? <laughs> oh no, I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. Haha, <laughs> sorry about that birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. To join me, Stermitivo, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Oh, okay, got it. Damn, we got a lot of tickets to collect. Uh, I remember... This is Blaze. What's this guy's name? Espio? Could we please see your ticket? Oh, I was right. Of course. Excellent, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. The calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. I studied in Jutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu. That sounds a lot that sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling on to walls? Cling on to walls? What kind of question is that? Ah, uh, yes, finally a window we can move. Alright, we only dropped a few frames, that's not bad. I most certainly can. Conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Hmm. The conductor's like, hmm, this guy thinks he can cling on the walls really good. <laughs> I don't really get the meaning of that. Oh, we can do this. Hmm, yummy, don't mind if I do. Sermitivo, those are for our guests, you know. Train. Be sure Stormativa only gets one of those if they ask. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, a uh, train. The conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Fa! Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat! The snacks look really tasty too. Yeah, they look alright. Alright, I guess we'll just go around this way. Oh, I didn't know Shadow is here too. Is he doing like a Luigi cosplay? Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. Seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? 
I seem to um, have uh, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. Don't know where it is. It's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry, we'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Could please get the birthday girl's ticket? Hee <laughs> hee, why certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? OMG, Starmativa is so relatable. It's so me. L OMG, LOL. <laughs> And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. How do they have a murder plan? Like, oh wait. I think I know what's gonna happen. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Oh my God, please. Please tell me that. Uh, please tell me I just read that wrong. You see, I'm a girl who loves a good tr true crime podcast. <laughs> I'm not gonna throw as much shade at true crime podcasts as I could, but. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Yeah, have fun, you true crime podcast listener. <clears throat> Psycho. <clears throat> Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, how fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. Birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Our sprites are kind of weird in this. But I'm going to be most critical of Amy since she's my favorite Sonic character. Here. <laughs> Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Do you sell gift bags here? <laughs> That's a really good sprite. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I can get for you. That stare, purr, so cold. Thermativa, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Ha. No, no, I'm good. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. Princess such as myself must always be punctual. Princess? Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? Separate dimension, actually. Separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Ho ho, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. <laughs> this is like the meme from, uh... I always uh, thought that was really funny. Why can I not win with this group? It's alright, you'll get it. You kind of look like them. Oh, I thought... <laughs> I thought the conductor was saying this to Rouge, and he's like staring at her boobs, and he's like, Hello, you two. What can I do for you? My mind is so far gone in the gutter. I'm sorry, guys. Hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my. How forward. Let me fetch it for you. My, my. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask you to leave. <laughs> Now ask for that back. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. 
I may not actually be the best at judging character. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Oh, can we move over? Oh yeah, cool. I saw you hiding over there, Knuckles. This is a really good placement to get the um, player used to where that is, so I appreciate that. Howdy, can I please get your ticket? Howdy, partner! I think that's a ticket? Come on, bro. I know it's kind of messed up, but you don't have to be like that. Like, like, hmm, is that actually a ticket for our train? Like, yeah, obviously that's a ticket. Man, I, I would have not named you Stormativa if I knew this guy was going to be an idiot. I'm just like making myself an idiot. Story of my life. Not more dropped frames. Stop dropping. I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good. Thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. <laughs> I need a napkin. What's sticking out of the napkin holder? Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. Let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket, add to your inventory. So we already solved one mystery. Now we have to figure out who killed this guy. Who killed this guy who is living? Can I get your ticket, youngin? <laughs> right here, sir. Thank you, may I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. Dang, you have any extra for me? No way, I brought my own sparkle of gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Ha ha ha, absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. I don't know, the sparkle of gelatin buddies joke didn't really come across to me as normal kind of forced, just like the true crime podcast. I'm very sad that my favorite character has gone to the dark side against us. Take it please. Thank you kindly, happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Don't worry about it, I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did! Can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing, I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second, is he... is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Y yes have... Uh, uh, have fun now. <laughs> Will do, thanks. Alright, hey, I got your ticket, bro. Find anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. I got what you want, I got what you need. Show your friend what we picked up. Ah, uh, there it is, that's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Yeah, I wanted to kick you out, but I didn't make the game, so. Ho ho, old Storm and Tiva here would have their hands full kicking you out. <laughs> That was funny. That was a good one. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. Ha 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 ha. Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? <laughs> well, so far there's only two employees, and one of them's about to retire. So you're about to be doing everything, bro. You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course. Just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for my departure. Ah, uh, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? We'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And trade. Assist Dormitivo if you need any help, won't you? Fahaha, ha, ha, that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train who he talks to in the form of a robotic arm. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. Don't worry about mucking up the place either. Train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all that. 
for everything else, please talk to Stormativo here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Bye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense the lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Um... Okay, I, I think that what I thought was going to be a secret plan is just like the overt plan, but they haven't really si Yeah, okay, yeah, the murder mystery game, so... This, this murder mystery game is a game? It's, it's not a murder mystery in a murder mystery game. It's a murder mystery game in a murder mystery game. But I feel like playing a murder mystery game in a murder mystery game makes it not a murder mystery game. It makes it like a murder mystery game party simulator visual novel. Okay, I don't know. Let's, let's just see what else happens, I guess. On to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Yeehaw, partner. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry. <laughs> Both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and SBO the poet. Oh, cool. I'm totally vibing with SBO off that. Both found in the library. Hear that, SBO? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just going to say yes in case you repeat everything and I say no. Oh, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. Of course that was okay, because you have the most important role. You're going to be the victim. Shh, you're dead. <laughs> nah, more than alright. You can help me ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, cool. I have a map for each of you. Better give me a copy. The run station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Oh yeah, sweet. Rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. What nice job changing the phrasing to not say among us. Great idea. I, I appreciate that. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. And also, I think my drop frames more of an issue with the download going on on my other computer than it was with the, ga the Fallout New Vegas game because we're still dropping frames. Ah, oh, it's quite an unsightly amount. I don't know. Yeah, because this makes me think that the drop frames wasn't a... Um, game performance issue is just an issue with the download, which is a, mostly a good thing. Um, or maybe just this computer can't really stream and run games at the same time. I haven't really done that that much yet. It was really good for stumble guys, so should be able to handle some things, but you can always just stream on the Twitch in case there's a backup. Alright, let's go on a little more, we'll see how the frames go. 
might reach a good stopping point. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers and figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can. Find clues and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations. Ah, this is so exciting. Mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. How thrilling, I have goosebumps. Same, ah, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyway. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. Hmm, okay. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Yeah, I can picture Tails being best friends with this thing. Explains why he acts so cute all the time, even though he's a nerd. Kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this kinda sounds fun. <laughs> OMG, this is this guy is me. This is so much like me right here. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. OMG, that's so me, bro. It's going down for real. Train started moving. It's so fast, grab onto something. What's going on? Ah, I'm slipping, hold on. I, I can't, ah, uh, no. Wasn't expecting that. You're both awake. Yeah, seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth of this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the, in the interview. We should go check on the others. Stormativo, could you get the door? Of course. Seems the door is blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. <laughs> I'll uh, search over here. <laughs> Tails is like, you really didn't bring your hammer? Are you kidding me right now? I know Amy, she's hiding something. Huh? Suppose she did wake up before us, something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, and we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? Understood. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. The awkward Amy Sprite holding a spoon. This, this is the only good... All others are totally trash. Except everyone else in the Sonic universe is okay. Sonic universe is the only one that's done it right. I'm not, I'm not a furry because I like Sonic, okay guys? What's this, a rod? Is 
hip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. Not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick is out of your inventory. Ah, uh, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. <laughs> this is a great story, just the image of Sonic and Tails slipping on juice in a grocery store into an old man's shopping cart, knocking it over and spilling all of its contents. It's very good stuff. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. The shelf blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey, Stormativa, look closely at this. Wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing a shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf, add a deer inventory. I think we've found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. Oh, I wanted to get more clues. I wanted to click on the fire extinguisher and the weed leaf poster. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there first, Tails. Come on, now, you're slacking as a detective. I'm about to like take your tiny hat off your head and put it on mine since you suck at this. Oh no, sadly it's empty. Okay, I guess I was wrong. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? This kid's been around since the freaking 80s. How you call this a kid, bro? <laughs> Or at least, uh, maybe it was the 90s when did the first Sonic come out? Yeah, let's, let's see here guys, let's uh, do some quick uh, research. Oh yeah, 1991. I was like, maybe it's the 90s. Yeah, it was in the 90s. This dude's been around since the early 90s. You calling that a kid, bro? What's the latest? Find any clues yet? You lying birthday. I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train. Oh my god, I didn't think of that. I'll keep looking. Uh, let's talk first. Are any clues yet? Oh, okay. The music has to change for the interrogation. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accused me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Um, I think this is the joke answer. So we'll do that. I told you I'm not eating until it's birthday cake time. Ah, uh, let me think this through again. You was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Uh, probably this one. I don't think you were sitting idly while Stormativo and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape, or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Stormativo, let me step you through this. I feel like he's looking right at me. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. All right, let's do it. Proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet. Um, uh, this one. I didn't even see that there before I said that, I swear. 
Hmm, not quite sure this will convince Amy. Let's give it another try. Oh man, I suck at this. What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over, damage makes sense. You have no argument here, you're grasping. Oof. Okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? Does not have to explain myself? Well, you see, I, uh, well, hmm, when I get stumped, I like to think, what would Sonic, <laughs> what would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bad nicks. He never loses. Like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Oh my god, no. Okay, that, that is, um... Like, like, oh, OMG, that's me. It's... Here's what I will say that is true. This was me over 10 years ago. <laughs> Not throwing any shade. If you want to watch Troop, or I mean, listen to Troop Crime Podcast or play Infinite Running Games, uh, sure. Whatever works. You know. Just close your eyes and think, what would Sonic do? And find your argument. All right, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback like Sonic would do. I play infinite runner games and I'm gonna be like Sonic. Oh, wait, what? Wait, are we are, we're playing a, a Sonic game in the Sonic game? Oh, what? Thing, all of them, why is it not ready? I think not. Bro, we're playing a Sonic game in a Sonic game. Did not see this one coming. The bouncy? Cool. I'm the goat. I'm the goat. This is just like Dengen Rampa for real. <coughs> sure, the shelf fell. But there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me, on a train this well kept, that the damage was here before we arrived? Well, I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? The stick. What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Well, I would answer your question, but I'm busy playing a Sonic video game. In a Sonic video game. Like a boss. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say, a hammer? Ack! This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Yeah, birthday girl, you totally failed. Ha! Ah! ah. As you both said, I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack, and the handle ripped it right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. Never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective. And I dabble as a mechanic. <laughs> I dabble as a mechanic. 
Uh, let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. Part of my calculations, if you hit the if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. Shelf completely shattered, incredible. We did it, we're free. Great job, Amy, let's get out of here. All right, we escaped from the closet. So since we're dropping some frames, that's gonna be the end of this first introductory episode to, um, what's it called? Somebody murdered Sonic or something? Um, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Also, I just noticed this. Um, I don't think you guys can see the mouse though, can you? Yeah, like the part around the middle three characters where, um, yeah, but I hope Amy is kind of a main character with Tails. It seems like it's those two, and then Sonic is kind of the main focus, but kind of not. But yeah, so I'm going to stream some more tomorrow when I'm not doing this freaking download. The reason I'm doing this download is I can play Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max and use my same save file. And whatever, but anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed... as a excuse to laugh at humanity or something like that but yeah thank you guys for supporting the stream thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one